What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Quick Bit Entertainment. I'm your host, Hollywood Hogan. Marvel Studios just dropped this 10-year featurette for Avengers Infinity War because today we're 10 days away, my dude. 10 freaking days away from Avengers Infinity War dropping in theaters. Um, I'm so hyped. Let's just jump right into this because it's a pretty lengthy 10-year featurette. Let's just jump into this. 3, 2, 1, Avengers Assemble. Let's freaking go! Marvel Studios 2008, three weeks before Iron Man opens. Dude, I was 14 years old. It's a very interesting time now, and boy, you don't know what's gonna happen. Favreau! I know that I'm proud of it. I know that we've done everything we can. I really don't know how people are gonna react to this thing. This could be anything from a flop to a, a moderate- Can you imagine it was? It's beyond what people's expectations are. You never know. Jeez. Good luck keeping up. Iconic, iconic as F. We were in our own slipstream of feeling like we were doing something a little bit special and different, but the full circle of seeing that audiences were reacting to it the way we had hoped they would was powerful. The Godfather. We had two dreams when we started this a little over 10 years ago at Marvel Studios. One was that Iron Man worked. The other one was that we could build something that was as expansive and as experiential as what people who've read comics over the years could get. Oh boy, did they build. If you go to Marvel, you want to give them everything you got, because they're going to give everything they got. This was a whole new journey. By the first Avengers, I thought, oh wow, I think we're onto something here. Just seeing the characters together, there's something viscerally awesome about it. And I think that's Woo! why... The minute Sam Jackson showed up at the end of Iron Man 1, whether people had read comics or not, who is that? What does that mean? Why is he here? And then Tony Stark appearing at the end of The Incredible Hulk. I told you we were putting a team together. Who's we? <laughs> seem like just Remember the tiniest that, man. of things compared to where we are now, but those were the foundations that led us here. The cutting edge Woo! concept behind the Marvel Universe is this massive organism of shifting parts and new ideas. How do we do this? As a team, Sarah Hell is yeah. responsible for all of these amazing actors and actresses that we brought into this. I think after the first Avengers, people realized that this was not just an ordinary comic book movie. That there was really a lot of thought and, Josh a, lot of and a lot of passion. Justice League. Into each of these films. And there's also some joy. I think when the actors are having fun and creating these characters. Woo! The Cumberbitch! Let's do a dance off! Not the best the ending, but... Guardians are still so greatness. People all over the world. <laughs> My boy! I love the fact that we've been all given the opportunity to do something different and put our sort of ideas forward and attack a character again and hopefully advance on that and bring something unique to it each time. It's wonderful to be able to play this iconic character that means so much to people, and I really have to thank the audiences for that because they embraced my portrayal of her from the beginning. Final fitting. What do you think? Questions, comments, Jeez. concerns? And allowed me to walk in Natasha's shoes and kick ass in them too. Woo! Didn't need the love affair with the Hulk though. That was kind of cringe, but everything other than that I is pretty good badass. Every one of us is so grateful. Jesus, Our lives dude. Are monumentally changed by our involvement in this world <laughs> i'm telling you man the godfather an instrumental role in what marvel has done in the past 10 years it's just so incredibly meaningful to us it's a cool experiment it's epic and classical such an epic scene probably the best scene in that movie mythological characters in a lot of ways so i love all of you and i look forward to seeing many of you as we trudge this road of happy destiny it's nice to look at, at how the Legacy is living on in these other movies and other filmmakers. Jesus, man. Stacked. I don't think this Stacked. has ever happened before in cinematic history of all of these different franchises colliding and all these storylines that have started such a long time ago have all woven together. Who the hell are you guys? As the films have progressed with Civil War and now Infinity War, we're just going to continue to surprise people. Woo! There was an idea to bring together group of remarkable people dude man to see if we could become something more that's really gonna get those captain marvel rumors really gonna start up again especially ending it with her with brie my god dude 10 years in the making my dude Woof. 
10 years in the freaking making it all leads up and it all begins and coming soon at man the wasp captain marvel um freaking in 10 days dude 10 days 10 years in the making all comes into this one freaking gigantic cinematic masterpiece of a movie that we've been waiting for for not waiting for but you know just been creating piece by piece a huge giant puzzle to me the puzzle is pretty much complete now coming out with this movie in 10 days dude 10 days just realize that 10 years ago 14 year old me was in the theater watching iron man and in 10 days 24 year old me will be in the theater watching avengers affinity war and um it's going to be insane. I have no idea what to expect. I know there's rumors out there already flying around. That movie, dude, is going to be freaking insane. And they're right. This has never happened in, like, it's, it happened in Star Wars, but not, like, this detailed and this much world building that they've done. It's just been insane. And props to them. If you're new to the channel, you don't know this. But if you're not new, if you've been with me since the beginning, um, you know I, I'm huge DC family you know you see all the DC shit uh, and um but I gotta pay my respect for these guys because they have built something that is historical it's not just a movie it's a cinematic experience empire world building freaking they are the death star of superhero movies man they are the freaking cinematic universe just they've just built something that's insane and in 10 days my dude 10 freaking days it finally pays off i mean those movies have been phenomenal and now in 10 days we get to see what happens in the world of the marvel cinematic universe anyways guys if you like this video slap the thumb subscribe join the quick bait quick as we march our way to the road to 1000 subscribers daily uploads monday through sunday seven days a week and um guys we are closing in dude we are a week away my boys 10 more days and we will be all sitting in the theater slaying ourselves crying Bring your tissue, your snacky snacks. Hopefully we don't go into a World War III before that. Can we just wait? Give us at least another couple of weeks. Let us enjoy our Avengers a couple, two, three, four, five times. Um, let's take a little step back and take a breather because we are about to be slayed. All us comic book nerds, including myself, are going to be absolutely slayed in 10 days. And I can't wait, my boys. If you like this video, again, slap the thumb. All the links down below in the description. If you like daily uploads of the channel that's regularly uploaded, subscribe, join the Quickbake Quick. I will see you guys tomorrow for the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer reaction and we're gonna do probably honest trailers for Baby Driver. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow to sweet.